This my two Satoshis. This my two Satoshis. Who need two cents when they can get double from stacking Toshis? Yeah. It's your boy Crypto Blood. Welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis Crypto News Edition. Yes, it's red, just like I got on today. Bitcoin definitely tried vigorously. The bulls tried to take over. They bid it up the $60,000 level multiple times, and it just seems like it could not hold. So we're gonna take a look at maybe what is going on here. There was some more news about the infrastructure bill coming out today. We'll talk about that. I'll update you on what's going on there. They're actually trying to improve some of the language in the infrastructure bill that pertains to crypto taxes. So um, I'll give you my two Satoshis on that. Also, we've got the government, the Federalis, seizing $56 million worth of crypto from the BitConnect scam. I don't know if you guys remember that whole Ponzi scheme that occurred, uh, I think all the way up until the end of the bull market in 2017, uh, going into 18, it started to unravel. But they've seized $56 million in crypto. No, it's not a lot of money to really do anything in these markets. I mean, we're over $3 trillion or just shy of $3 trillion market cap. So that's a drop in the bucket. So it's not going to make much of an impact, but it is something that's occurring. I want to give you guys a heads up on that. Also, you guys know I've been talking about the threat of quantum computers for the longest. I'm talking about back in 2017. I've been saying, look, this is going to be an issue for cryptocurrencies if we don't get proactive about this topic and i still don't see it, it being proactively talked about or a solution brought up for this there are a number of quantum resistant blockchains already out there they they came in the game thinking about this but your major cryptocurrencies uh are at risk and i've been saying this for years now and it's coming from ibm we'll talk about what chip and what they've uh, been able to achieve here with their latest quantum chips and what their roadmap is for 2023 is going to really shock you and should get you in a different mode as far as at least having some of your crypto portfolio in blockchains that are quantum resistant or quantum proof all that coming up on today's episode of my two satoshis let's get it but before we start if you guys find these types of videos informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this and so before we get into the news today definitely want to give you guys an update on the heat map we've we're looking pretty red deep red for some of the coins that have really gained a lot over the last few months here solona down big time bnb down pretty big as well it's down over six almost seven percent at this point guys trading at 539 bucks still if you bought this coin at four dollars five dollars back when i told you to take a look at it you are sitting lovely so not too much of a complaint for you solona down eight percent it's trading just shy of 200 dollars so the deep red ones are definitely getting hurt shiba getting hurt more is continuously bleeding out it actually broke a significant support area so now we're i mean that thing is going to head much lower at this point since it technically broke that level but all in all not a great day hex is up today cr token that's the crypto.com token they're up today but ethereum down four and a half almost five percent and bitcoin's down 4.2 percent and you may be asking what is going on here well i personally think we are basically uh technically breaking a support area for bitcoin just like we did with shiba this area right here i'm going to just draw a circle around it this area right here was breached earlier today i know we're near and almost above that area now but once the damage is done the damage is done technically the market is going to look at that as a score for the bears and so i think we're going to continue that wave down um and the next area that i have for us is possibly fifty three thousand dollar bitcoin right there all right so this area right here should be an area that we can at least pause and see if the bulls can take back over and take us back up higher but at this point you might want to get out the way especially with the alts i said that yesterday in a tweet look out below the alts are going to get hurt because bitcoin seems like it's breaching a technical area to the downside so that's where we are with things we're looking at the chart on bityard.com link in the description below if you guys are interested in copy trading it's the easiest way to actively manage your portfolio uh a small portion of your portfolio that is i wouldn't suggest putting 
you know 40 50 percent of your portfolio in a copy trading platform but hey take 10 percent 15 percent and put it in that copy trading system you get to pick who you want to follow as you guys can see here once you sign up fund your account just hit the copy trading section on bityard.com and you can go through and pick who you want to follow they give you all the stats um, 30 day and if you click on the actual profile you'll get even longer performance timeline and results so it's the easiest way for you to actively trade or allow your portfolio to be actively traded without you doing anything but literally subscribing to a particular trading system bityard.com for that ladies and gentlemen but today we're going to take a look at this interesting article and this was actually out of the verge so the u.s government seizes 56 million in crypto from bitconnect's number one promoter who is that number one promoter i wonder if it's my man carlos the bitconnect guy <laughs> um but probably not i don't think he was the biggest promoter we'll see but the u.s government seized uh, 56 million as I stated from an admitted participant in the BitConnect scam and intends to sell the coins and use the proceeds to reimburse victims so the Department of Justice says that it's the largest recovery of cryptocurrencies to date was willingly given up by Los Angeles resident Glenn Arcaro who has called himself BitConnect's number one promoter. Why would you willingly give up $56 million? It just doesn't make any sense. You know back then when it came out I was actually developing bots to trade and I knew as an algorithm developer that there is no way you can have a trading bot that is that never loses. It just doesn't make any sense. There's no way you can have a guaranteed payout of 1% a day. I think that's what Bitcoin, BitConnect was promising its victims. And I told people back then to steer clear of this nonsense. It was all based on the Ponzi scheme. You have to get newer money in to pay out the older people that came before that new person it's a classic pyramid scheme and they're still going around to be honest with you so just be careful you cannot guarantee profits at all no way no how so this akaro guy pleaded guilty to participating in both parts of the scam while allegedly posting videos online to make fun of bitconnect doubters he said that he had earned what was then valued at 24 million by his participation that is crazy it's just crazy don't invest in something that sounds too good to be true if they're guaranteeing you returns it's not sustainable i know some of you guys remember trayvon james i think he is still online i mean i don't know what happened because he was supposed to go down big time i think he probably snitched because he didn't go to jail he didn't have to pay restitution nothing so I don't know what he did. He's had to do a great snitching. He probably snitched on a Caro, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man. Trayvon James, man. Stop snitching, man. You should have did your time. You knew you were wrong. You stole uh, or helped BitConnect steal all those people's money. And you were making money off of it, man. Shame on you. But anyway, that's what's going on with BitConnect's number one promoter, man. 50-something million dollars. 56 to be exact in crypto that was just voluntarily given over to the government for that scam. Another scam is this infrastructure bill. And it looks like um, the, there's a bipartisan bill up on the hill that's aiming to fix some of the crypto issues that were passed in this bill. So a comprehensive bipartisan bill has been introduced in the United States House of Representatives to quote unquote fix everything wrong with the infrastructure bills crypto tax provision so including the unconstitutional 6050i individual reporting mandate all right that is insane so to replace they want to what they want to do is replace the broad definition of broker that was one thing that um, i did see a lot of people were upset about because that could affect even businesses like mine who we're just block producers uh, and they want to replace that with one limited to exchanges that buy and sell cryptocurrencies and then second limit the new requirement that brokers report transfers of cryptocurrencies by making sure that only information that's voluntarily provided by customers and held for legitimate business purposes can be shared and number three they wanted to again strike this expanded 6050i part of the bill reporting requirement for digital assets instead require a study of the effects of such expansion made in consultation with the digital asset industry 
and organizations focus on individual privacy and civil liberties let's hope this actually gets through because as it stands right now is a horrible bill uh, on, for all of us in the crypto space so we'll see what happens i'm actually a little optimistic about this i think something will be amended here in this bill i don't think it's going to get through like it like it is right now it doesn't go into effect for a couple of years but you know as i was talking to someone in the comments section just because it's not in play for a couple of years doesn't mean that it doesn't affect cryptos now and going forward all markets are are usually forward pricing so they, they try to price the markets for the future not for today it's not present value they're trying to give you future present value and uh that's i think it was a, one of the catalysts that we've seen really suck a lot of the momentum out of the markets and so far it might be setting up to give us a double top in the crypto or bitcoin markets and then subsequently all the altcoins so we'll see what happens there but lastly i gotta give you guys a heads up on this so i'm not really into this quan platform qan platform it's not QAnon, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, but I guess IBM is uh, scaling their quantum technology. So they have this chip called Eagle and it will be followed by Osprey in 2022 with 1,121 qubits and then Condor in 2023. That's their roadmap. So Condor will be able to break 99% of today's cryptocurrencies. That means break the wallets be able to do enough computations on any public address and find out the private key you got a public key that's the address that you give everyone that wants to send cryptos to you that's your public key but you also have a private key that's the one you never want to send out because then people can gain access to your wallet and move funds out of it but this chip condor in 2023 is said to be able to hack 99 percent of all cryptocurrency wallets by then hey if they can do it by 2023 that means they probably can do it by next year it won't be public right or sometime before 2023 they'll be able to do it so uh i don't know maybe look into this qa nx token i'm not familiar with it but definitely uh, something you guys should keep in mind as far as uh trying to diversify your crypto portfolio and protect yourselves i'll leave a link to this ibm article uh you guys can check it out and read in detail what's going on here all right but that's pretty much it for today ladies and gentlemen short and sweet your boy crypto blood if you found the video informative please like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this i'm out of here people Holla.